Hello everyone. Welcome back to Maximum Automation. Today in this video, I'm going to talk about PyTest. What is PyTest and how we can use PyTest in our Selenium Python framework? PyTest is a testing framework like we have a test framework such as TestNG and JUnit in Java, NUnit and XUnit in C Sharp. Similarly, we have a testing framework in Python called PyTest. Using PyTest, we can create test methods to test the application. If we talk about the features of PyTest, then PyTest is an open source test framework which provides the easy way of writing the test methods. PyTest provides parallel execution so we can run our test methods in parallel to reduce execution time. Using PyTest, we can also skip the test at runtime. Also, PyTest provides different filters to filter out the test method so that we can run a specific set of methods. To start with PyTest, first of all, we have to install the PyTest package. And then we have to write the test methods. After that, we can use the PyTest framework to run those test methods. Now let's first see how we can install PyTest. We can install PyTest either by command prompt or we can install it from the PyCharm editor as well. And for that, we can go to the project settings. And then under the project tab, we can choose the Python interpreter. And then here we can install the packages. You can see it already shows that I have this PyTest installed on my machine. But in case if you don't have PyTest installed, then you can click on this plus icon. And then from the available packages, you can search PyTest over here. And then you'll see that the PyTest is listed over here. After that, you can click on this PyTest install package. So once you click on this install package, it will install the PyTest into the system. Right now, you can see I have 7.2 version installed, and now I'm updating it to the latest version, which is 7.3.1. We can see that it installed the package PyTest successfully. So this is one way to install the PyTest. Then another way to install the PyTest is from the command prompt. So what you can do is open a command prompt. And then you can type the command pip install pytest. To install any package, we need to use pip, which is a package manager in Python. So here using the pip, I'm going to install a package for pytest. And then I can press enter. You can see that it prompted with the message that the requirement is already satisfied because PyTest is already available in my system. So this is how we can install any package from command line using PIP. And in case you do not have PIP installed on your machine, then you can watch my previous video to set up Python and PIP on a system. The link is given in the description and in the I button above. So now we are done with the installation. We have PyTest available in our framework. So either you can install it by using the command prompt or you can do it from the project settings. Once you have the PyTest installed on your machine, then the next thing is to write the test method in your framework. And then we can run those test methods using PyTest. First of all, let me create a file where I'm going to write my test methods. Whenever we're going to create a test file, which we want to run using PyTest, then we need to make sure that those file names starts with test underscore, or it should end with an underscore test. Let me show you an example. I'm going to create a Python file over here. Now let's say 
if I provide the file name as test underscore my file. So I have to provide the file name like this. It should start with either test underscore or it should end with underscore test. If my file starts or ends with a test, then only PyTest framework will identify that this is a test file and it has to run the test cases available under this file. So now let me create this file. So we can see that now I have this my file underscore test. Now what I'll do is I'll create some test or test methods over here. And to create the test method, I can define a method over here. And then again, we need to make sure that the test method which we are going to create also should start with a test. So I have to write the method name as test underscore. Let's say the method name is first scenario. Then under this method, let me create two variables a equal to 5 and b equal to 6. And then I can add an assertion to verify if both variables are equal. So this is how we can put assertion in Python. Then let me add another method and this time I won't add an underscore after test. And let's say the test method name is second scenario. And then under this test method, I can again create two variables. And then I can add the assertion where if a multiply b is equal to b multiply a. I'm trying to assert the multiplication of both these numbers and this assertion should pass. So this is how I can create my test file and test methods in Python. This is my test file and these are the two test methods available in my test file. And now I'll run these test methods using PyTest framework. So let me open the terminal over here. To run all the test methods available in our framework using PyTest, we need to type the command as PyTest. This is the only command which we need to type and then we can press enter. You can see it executed the test. And if we see the logs, so when I run the PyTest command, then it says that it collected two items, which means it found two test methods under my file underscore test. And here you can see it printed with an F dot. So F represents a failure, which means that the first scenario failed. And then here it printed a green dot, which represents a pass, which means that the second scenario is pass. Then we can see the failures where it says that the test underscore first scenario failed with the assertion error. If you'll see the summary, then we can see the assertion 5 equals 6 failed. So we have one failed and one pass test method. Now let's say if I create another test method over here. And this time I'll add the assertion as a minus b equal to b minus a. And if I run it, then this method should fail because a minus b won't be equal to b minus a because b is greater than a. And now if I run it, you can see it says two failed and one pass. And if I go here, then we can see it says this time it collected three items, which means it found three test methods. And under this my test file, first method is fail. 
second is pass and the third method is also failed then you can see this is the first method which is failed where 5 does not equal to 6 and then this is the third method which failed where we used 5 minus 6 equal to 6 minus 5 so this is how you can run your test method using pytest framework now let's say if i don't start my test method name with test then pytest won't consider this as a test method so the test should be there in my test method name now if i run it again you can see this time it says one failed and one pass so this time pytest found only two items because the third scenario doesn't start with a test also we need to make sure that the test should be added as a prefix to the test method name we can't have a test at the end let's say if i'll give a test at the end and if i run it then again we have one failed and one pass because it found only two test methods this test method name won't work even if i give an underscore over here so we have to start our method name with test only and after that we can put underscore or whatever you want to put but it should always start with a test this time you can see it collected three items so we have to create our scenario or method name starting with a test same is the case with the file name here i have this my file underscore test let's say if i rename this file to or let me remove the test from the file name now the file name is my file only even though i have the test methods name starting with test in my test file but my file name doesn't contain any test in it so now if i'll run the pytest command You can see that it collected zero items no test ran it did not found any test file which needs to be run using pytest because the file should start with a test or it should either end with a test now let me rename this file to test underscore my file You can see that this time it found three items to run because now my file contains the test underscore in the file name so here we have to make sure that in the file name we are providing the underscore as well because if i won't provide the underscore let's say if i delete the underscore and i just provide a test my file and now if i run it so you can see it did not find any items because test file should always start with either test underscore or it should end with underscore test so this is how you can create your test methods and you can run them using pytest i hope you like this video please put your comments in the comment box also please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel Thank you.